Hello, welcome to another episode of Cook TV. My name is Sue Douglas and I'm a designer for Crash You Print. Today I'm going to be just demonstrating how to make my money gift card envelope. I'm using the Lilac Floral Lace and Pearls design and the cup number is cup 155 043 underscore 422. Now this gift card can hold such things as gift cards, money, um, it can hold you know small jewellery presents uh, or even something like car keys if somebody's going to be lucky enough to get a car for that special occasion. Right so first of all we need to print out the three sheets that are in the kit. You've got two for the actual gift envelope and you've got a sheet with three choices of decoupage to add to the front of your finished envelope. Right, so first of all, cut everything out. Um, what I've also done on the front piece is attach the decoupage. Get it towards the bottom because you're going to have a flap on the front there. Uh, so just put it towards the bottom. So that's been laid up with 3D foam and just placed on the front. I've also put an edge in of a peel off border all the way round. That makes it look a bit, bit uh, glitzy. Right, so first of all, once you've cut it all out, there's a slit down there that you need to cut as well to hold the tab which holds it together. And there are holes to be punched. There's two in the front and two on the flap. And then you've also got two on your little tag. Right. So first of all, I'll show you the tools that I'm using. Steel ruler, bone folder, embossing tool, craft knife, 3D foam pads or alternatively you could use silicon glue, small pair of decoupage scissors and a large pair of scissors and double sided tape. For this design you're also going to need a 22 inch piece of ribbon that matches the design and also a thin ribbon which you attach your tag with. Right. So first of all, once you've cut it all out, you need to score and fold along the line. I use my embossing tool for this. Don't press too hard because if you're using a coated card like photo paper, um, it tends to um, split. So best to do it a couple of times lightly, rather than just one time heavily. Right, so once you've done all your scoring, you need to fold the envelope. And what I also do is press it down with the bone folder. I say press, don't drag it on, especially on coated paper, because it'll, it will split the photo paper. So there we go. Press it all down, like that. Right, now, you can either use a wet glue to put it all together, or you could use a strong double-sided tape. I certainly wouldn't use ordinary double-sided tape, um, because that's just not strong enough to hold what's, what's going in there. Right. First of all, I'm going to attach the front piece to this tab. Like that. And then I'm going to attach the front flap. Oh, wrong way. I'm going to go turn it over and put it on the wrong side. So now um, we're ready 
easier to put it together. Now obviously you need to put whatever you're putting in there, you need to put it in now before we tie the bow. Um, so you just put this little tab into the slit that you've cut earlier, bring the front of it up like that and there you are, there's your folded gift card all done. So now all we need to do is to thread the ribbon through. Thread it through the front piece first of all, from the back. What I've also done is attach a bit of double sided tape here between the two eyelets. So once you've threaded that through, make sure that the ribbon coming through is quite even. And then just remove the carrier from the double sided tape and press it down. There you go. Okay, so once you've done that, you need to then thread the ribbon through the flap, just like this. Right, now this is going to be the tricky bit to do on Cook TV, which is tying the ribbon. I can normally do it quite well, but we'll just see what happens. I'd hate to do live television, at least if this one turns out to be a real disaster. I can just redo it. So there we go. Oh, it's not too bad. That's turned out quite well. There you go. So then just cut off the excess at an angle. Just make it look pretty. And then all that's left to do is to attach the tag. Now on the tag, on one of the tag, on the tag front, I've actually attached a little jewel just to make it more special. So then you take the two ends of your ribbon, put them together and with the tag wrong size together, just thread it through the eyelets, both eyelets. And then just put your bits of ribbon, the ends of the ribbon through that and just pull it tight like that. Right, then all you need to do is take one of the end bits of ribbon and just thread it through the eyelet at the top here. And then I just tie it in a knot, leave it in a little bit so that it hangs down nicely on the gift card. And then just cut off the excess like that. Right, so that's it. Now you could add more embellishments. Um, I've got a, a dragonfly that I've added to this one as well, which looks quite nice. Uh, I just stuck it onto vellum and then just stuck it down with wet glue. So add anything that you feel you might want to. So that's it, all finished. Uh, the cup number again is cup 155043 underscore 422. Of course, if you, if you want to look at my card fronts, I've got quite a lot on the site and I've used one of these decoupage embellishments on my heart card fronts. Please do take a look at my other gift card envelope designs. Uh, there are lots on there for Christmas, birthdays, new baby, mail cards. Uh, so there's plenty to choose from. Please go to my area which is www.craftshoeprint.com forward slash Sue Douglas. And whilst you're on the site, maybe go and search for Crafty Bob. 
We've given away £6,000 already this year in prizes. So maybe you can find Crafty Bob and make yourself a bit of money for Christmas as well. Thank you for watching. I very much enjoyed my Cook TV debut and I hope to be doing another one soon. Thank you.